Welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse, and today we're going to look at what's in this box of Everdell Pearl Brook. Just came in on Kickstarter. This is the expansion to Everdell. This is the collector's edition. It plays one to four. This introduces a deep below the shimmering surface of the Pearl Brook River. A mysterious civilization of water folk is waiting. Let's take a look at what these water folk want here in Everdell. Everdell. It almost sounds like I'm saying Everdale. Let's look at Everdale. Because we're going to look at this plastic. And you can see us make these mistakes in pronunciation live. Twitch.tv slash hardboard games. Leave the I out of there because there's no, there's no I in board games, right? That's right. So, let's take a peek at the box. Ooh, nice. They went without the cardboard. That's good. Rules of play right here at the top. Uh, it comes with an extra little piece that goes beside the board. Some new workers, new frog ambassadors. 3D wonders, look at that. 3D signs, some pearls, and a score pad. Huh. Maybe that was a complaint someone had about the first one. Uh, score pad needs. Uh, there's probably a PDF provided for this. This is not the best way to look at this because sometimes when they use this shiny I mean, you can see it. It's obvious. It's shiny. <laughs> um, it's not just a lighting angling issue at that point. It's just too much. It's just shiny. Anyways, a pretty short book. Not bad. We looked at this catalog whenever we looked at the first Everdell. So check that out. Assembling the Wonders. I mean, there is this camera we could always cut to that will take away a lot of that. It's just a little less sharp, that's all. It's cool. It tells you how to do all of that right there. Let's go back to the overhead. So these are the wonders. And the sign. The sign looks way bigger than I thought. Cool. Here is the sideboard. I'm glad they made this really big. Like they could have they could have uh, skimped on that, but they didn't. They make that board really big and they gotta stick to it. And here's some things that cover, I guess. Not really sure how that works. You have lots of room for, oh, that's probably once you assemble this stuff, it all goes up here. We have some cards here that we're gonna take a look at in the close-up. In fact, we could probably take a look at the close-up for all the rest of this stuff. And Harry Hare's score pad. <clears throat> all right. I don't need to look underneath this thing because I can see it. <laughs> so let's go over here and look at Harry. Terry Hare's score pad. This competition of Everdell was scored on this. And that's it. <laughs> is it back in front? It is back in front. There you go. Harry hair score pad. All right. So last time we looked at these, we looked, kept them in the bag. I think we could keep them in the bag this time too, because these are all pretty straightforward. We got a bird there. We got a, we got a couple things here. We got uh, that guy, whatever he is, and yeah, axolotls. Kind of tell what they are. They're not well defined, but they're pretty well defined. So we got this little extra guy here. Lots of silica gel. And we got our frog guys. Little frog guys to help out. More frog guys to help out. Ooh, lots of frog guys. So these pearls, I'm gonna make the comparison to Abyss with these pearl quality. So here's the thing about these pearls. They are flat on one side. So they don't keep rolling away. Now they will roll on one side, but uh, in Abyss, you can really play with them because they are completely round. On this one, they didn't they didn't care about the rolling ability. They just wanted to for them to stay still. And I, it's kind of better this way, I think. It's not as real, but I mean, when it's on the table, it looks just fine. And then we were left with the cards. Let's take a look at the little cards first. So we'll be keeping them in these little plastic things for now. Until we play them on twitch.tv slash heartboardgames, go follow us over there. So you can see every time we go live. Compass, Gilded Book, 
Hourglass, Tiara, Sundial, Key to the City, Bell, Mask, and one of these things. I haven't played this game yet. That's why it's on this um, What's in the Box, because most of these games on What's in the Box I haven't played at the time I'm showing you it. I may have played it already on, on Twitch, but you gotta go over there and find out, right? And this plastic is loud. So loud. And I'm sure it's way louder for you. So I apologize for that. We got a mirror. We got scales. We got a spyglass, sea glass amulet. Feel free to pause this at any time. I try to make this high quality so you can actually read this uh, clearly. You know, so if you really wanted to get a look inside these boxes, you can see every part of a card as as uh, it's paused. Now, there may be parts where my finger's covering it up, but, you know, I think you get a pretty good idea of what's in these boxes. Feel free to post whatever you want to in the comments below. Uh, if I'm covering it up too much, if I'm going too fast, you know, I gotta learn from these things, right? right? It's a learning process. So those two were resealable plastic. This is uh, not resealable plastic. So I'm gonna cut over to just me while I take this open because this thing, there's no reason to have a close-up of nothing while I do that, right? There we go. So I haven't played Everdell, like I said. Is it, am I gonna look forward to this? Is this one of your favorites? I wanna know, let me know in the comments below. Let's take a look at this guy, make a splash. Oh, take a selfie with the other side of this card and share it with us. But why? That all went swimming. I just came out on top playing Everdell, Pearl Brook. Hmm. Well, there you go. Do you ever do that? Because there's other games that include that. I mean, it's a great way to advertise, sure. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'd probably go with something bigger than a card. Now, I know it costs more money, but at the same time, it could be more impressive, more incentive to take that photo. So we got a bridge, more bridges. I don't think I'm covering up anything too important. Got a ferry. I can see there's a little sign there. I take it that has something to do with the actual signs. Pirate ship. Construction. Don't look down, messenger. As you run across the water, a fairy ferret, which is on the cover. Uh, shipwright. There's a pirate. Whoop. There's the judge. My name is Judge. He's back. Now these have the different backs. Bosley, the artist, is a citizen. Christina, the constable, has a badge. Is that a... Oh, it's a whistle. In hand. Illuminor, the inventor. Snout the Explorer, Omicron the Elder, Koi Fish, hmm. Gus the Gardener, a Water Mill, an Observatory, a Ballroom, that kind of looks like the, uh, if you're familiar with Rocket League, that kind of looks like the Rocket League uh, arena that's underwater, Market, Gardens, and a Great Hall. There it is. That is everything that's in this box of Everdell Pearl Brook, the Collector's Edition. Uh, I did look at the rules of play. Yeah, just make sure I covered all my bases, and you can make sure I covered all my bases. At twitch.tv slash heartboardgames, let me know if I missed anything, but I don't think I did. Oh, forgot to look at the back of these, I guess. It's white. And that's it. I'll see you next time.